looks like the hawk took a big old pee in my tank. I have no idea, guys, what these eggs are and what laid it. It's a big lot. Oh, they almost look like little pearls. What is going on, Slayers? We're actually starting today's video in my garage, which is an absolute mess. So again, guys, please bear with me for I have a lot of fish stuff. I know a lot of other fish keepers understand the struggle. You find some stuff on Offer Up. You find some things on other places. Our friends give you stuff and you have no place to put it. So guys, you may be wondering, what is this tank for? What is this driftwood for? Now this driftwood is fire. It's perfect for our newest inhabitant in this tank. Yes, may of mine may be coming home very soon. Once I set this up, I gotta go ahead and reseal it and do the whole nine yards. But first we have to go ahead and soak this driftwood because that's what's going in his tank. And this is gonna be good. We're gonna change it up. We're, gonna, we're probably gonna be making a video on that. But I wanted to show you guys what I got going on here. Actually, it's a whole bunch of trash. I got something very special with that. You can't really see that, but I got tanks on tanks. Still got the lobster pot. Here's a stand for Mega Mines tank. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on i gotta be making uh, a lot of a lot of personal moves getting stuff out of here it's an absolute mess but today the reason i wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys is because i have discovered the oddest thing around my aquariums here in the house like we're taking a walk here to the crawfish aquarium and as you can see guys we have this very weird little clutch of eggs very weird clutch of eggs right here guys and it's so odd. I have no idea what those eggs are. Now, I have been doing my water changes with lake water out back. And everything was fine. But now I see these weird, weird eggs right here just chilling. There's some actually in the aquarium. I have no idea what these eggs are, guys. So in the comments below, let me know. Or you know what? We might have to do some research during this video to find out what these eggs are. But here, I'm going to go ahead and show you also what happened to my goldfish tank. It's not good. And I'm blaming those eggs. All right. It's getting a little toasty. We might have to be doing a lot of water changes. I'll show you guys in a moment. Well, unless you want to take a journey down the slam yard, get some things growing. A lot of space. A lot of space for ponds. And yes, like I've been saying, this is all going to be a pond. Back there is going to be a pond. But here, here's the bathtub, the goldfish bathtub right here. Uh, this could be a pond. You never know in the future. But look, guys, I have green water. Green, green, green water. This is the worst I have ever seen an algae bloom. Because that's exactly what this is. This has got to be an algae bloom for sure. I mean, the light hits from above all the way over here and that's exactly what could be happening i mean they're doing fine they come and suck my fingers come see everything is okay there's nothing wrong with my fish but the water clarity is absolutely poop i went ahead and grabbed some water from this lake over here and what ended up happening is now i have an algae bloom and on top of that i have these eggs right here laid it's really weird i have no idea guys what these eggs are and what laid it I have no idea. Let me show you what could be the culprit of these weird pink mystery eggs. Let me go ahead and grab that driftwood because we're actually going to go ahead and soak that driftwood in this tank to get it ready for Megamind in the future. But I honestly, I'm scared to drop it in here too because I don't want to squish any of my fish. I can't see a thing, guys. I literally can't see a thing. It's, it's so bad. Visibility. Look at that. My hand is disappearing. It's an algae bloom. It's, it's absolutely crazy. I've never experienced something this bad. I've done bacterial blooms, algae blooms, but this is poop. Like, look at this tank out here. We have the swole lobster out here. Our Larry the lobster, the big one. He's out here and because he was getting very aggressive with my goldfish. And here are my plants and everything's okay. And even here, there's a little bit of algae, which is not too bad, but not as bad as the goldfish tank. Like, look at that. It's like the hawk took a big old pee in my tank. So let's go get that driftwood real quick. And then I'm gonna show you what I think is the culprit for causing my green water. All right, so here's this beautiful piece of driftwood. Now you can kind of appreciate it out here. Hold on, let me lay it down right there. And I believe that's how it's going to sit in the tank. We're probably going to enjoy it this way. Yeah, it's going to be really nice for Megamind with his colors. Now, guys, anyone who's new to the channel, Megamind is my 
triple A grade red dragon flower horn who went through something and has survived. I will be showing clips, possibly making a couple videos in the future with him and I'll explain his entire story. But for now, just know we're getting you back, buddy. We're getting you back. So we're gonna go ahead and add this driftwood <gasps> into my Hulk tank because it's all green. So hopefully none of my goldfish go through something. When I add this, uh, wow. Well, that's that. It's in there. So something's gonna change. Probably the color of this tank. It's already green. So it can't get worse than green. So we're gonna have to do several, several water changes. So with that being said, let's grab this bucket and head to the lake, which is right over there. All right, Slayers. So we went ahead and made it to the lake, which is full of great fish and everything. As you saw, Kelly, Catch Em All's girlfriend, went ahead and caught a nice peacock out of here. And what's gonna happen with this is eventually I'm gonna go ahead and set up a couple pumps and pipes and have constant flowing water over there when I go ahead and make my pond and everything like that. But for now, I've been doing bucket by bucket every single time I gotta do a water change for all my fish because I'm kind of spooked about chlorinated water. But you know, you do what you gotta do to go ahead and make your fish survive. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get some water and as you can see i believe this water is the culprit right now i but i'm gonna blame the eggs right here look they're on the side of the wall hold on let's move this over here watch oh my god look there's some right here there's eggs and duck poop oh gross let me get out of here there's eggs right here so you gotta i i, I don't know what they are i still haven't identified them but if you can go ahead and come down here guys with me yeah let's drop let's not drop the slayers and let me zoom in there are eggs on this wall all along this wall right here let me see if there's something over here oh there's so much more over there too oh gosh they're along that wall they're just sitting there i don't i don't even know what the hell is going on look at that pink eggs on the wall so what I was doing was scooping this up and maybe when I scooped up some water, I scooped up some eggs. Did I get any eggs? No, this one's egg free, but possibly scooped up some eggs in the mix and possibly they caused the water to be green or they just end up hatching there and then growing more eggs. I have no idea. So instead of taking you guys on a Google adventure, I went ahead and did some research myself and found out that these are apple snail eggs so let me go ahead and tell you about apple snail eggs guys apple snail eggs are eggs from apple snails that they're very bright and very pink what they actually do is the apple snails lay their eggs above the water just like you saw before here let me show you a couple photos here on google they lay their eggs above the water because they need oxygen to go ahead and survive so what's very odd is also nothing eats them nothing eats them because they have neurotoxins they have that bright color showing that hey look you see something that's really bright in the wild means hey i could kill you and it's dangerous so now i'm a little spooked because i have to go ahead and get rid of these eggs i'm definitely gonna get rid of the eggs that are on the goldfish tub but not the crawfish tub because some already fell in there and hopefully the crawfish survive actually I'm gonna grab the ones that are in the water I'm gonna let those hatch and let them be because if you break them that's when the neurotoxin is secreted into wherever you're gonna be like you only get if you ingest it so kids if you're you're out here and you're fishing out here not specifically at this spot but wherever you're fishing guys do not touch those apple snail eggs even though they think you think they'll be cool since they're like pink orange whatever the case may be don't touch them and if you decide to live on the wild side make sure you wash your hands properly and everything because if you touch them and then you touch your eyes or whatever the case may be you can actually die they've done some experiments on mice and stuff guys google this stuff this is for real i'm not messing around so that's that's a no bueno we don't we want to have fun catching a whole bunch of fish and enjoying our life together with the ponds and everything and you always got to watch joey slam and my boys out here in south florida with that being said let's go ahead and remove those snails safely because i want nothing to do with those snails and now i'm like super spooked but here are the eggs that i was talking about guys here are the eggs and i have some spoons to go ahead and get rid of the ones that are in the water we have to figure out what we're gonna do here probably just scoop these on up oh no we're gonna have to just get rid of those and throw them in the bucket all right guys like everything's getting kicked up because our crawfish are still in here so we're just gonna have to scoop up the remaining eggs 
and we're actually gonna just leave these eggs here and if these hatch it's okay it's not a big deal because nothing has cracked and nothing has fallen into the water to kill anything that's in here so I got I'm gonna go ahead and continue to get rid of the rest like as you can see there's one more floating hello dang it I lost it in the muck oh here's another one there's a couple there too yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop these out and then I'll meet you guys at the goldfish bathtub. So guys, we're back at the goldfish tub and it does look like the Incredible Hulk took a pee in here and it's just not looking good. So here are our eggs. And I have some spoons right here to properly move these eggs into this bucket and then get rid of them. Because these are no bueno. Like look at these eggs. Even some of them have cracked. If you look right here, some of them have cracked and it just doesn't look good. And I don't want that to seep into the goldfish tub and kill everything that's here. So that's not good. So the good news about this is the eggs do not cause the algae bloom. So that's fine because that's treatable with several, several water changes. So that's, that's good news. That's, ve that's very good news. What the bad news is we got to get rid of you guys. <laughs> so let's go ahead and remove these eggs. So I'm just going to scoop them up like they're ice cream. Oh, they're breaking apart. I don't want them to go ahead and fall into the tub. So we're going to move these eggs right here. Oh, it's a it's a big lot. Oh, whoops. That's gross. So here, here's the neurotoxins right here, guys. It's so gross. It's so gooey. You see that? Oh my gosh. So apparently if you ingest this in some type of way, it could kill you. So we're just going to move this out. Oh. That is really gross. Let's take a look inside this bucket here. Look how gross that is, guys. And this stuff are actually, they're baby apple snails, so I'm sorry that the apple snails have passed, but I don't want anything to happen to my goldfish, so if a couple snails gotta die in the name of the goldfish, well, sacrifices must be made. So let's just go ahead and analyze these things one more time now. Look at this goo. They almost look like little pearls, how translucent they are and everything, but look at that. So that's like a safety net for the eggs to survive. They produce these neurotoxins. So usually bright colored things, like I was saying, means death. Look at that. That's that's really gross. Let me squish them. Oh, gosh. This is so gross. All right, Slayer, so the sun's starting to set. We're gonna go ahead and dispose of these things properly, guys. I hope you enjoy this episode. These things are evil and poisonous. And we want nothing to do with those because those things can go ahead and kill our fish. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have been such a strong family here. My Slayers love you guys. And I'll see you in the next Slay Venture. Booyah.